one small town in Oromia. A destiny was whispered into the ears of a young Abi Ahmed, a prophecy from his mother, one that would shape the very fate of a nation. He clung to this divine purpose, a calling he believed in with unwavering conviction, willing to do whatever it took to fulfill it. When I was just seven years old and my mother imparted a prophecy, I would one day ascend to the throne as the seventh king of Ethiopia. This declaration etched itself deeply into my consciousness. In every facet of my life, I assumed the role of a king. Even during my elementary school years, my fellow students acknowledged my regal presence. My every action, every pursuit, I approached with the unwavering belief that I would one day be the king. There are individuals here who have known me for two decades, and you can ask them. I usually don't like to take photos, but when I do, I tell them, safeguard this image, for it shall serve as evidence when I ascend to the throne as king. I once made a comment to Miles saying, there's just one person between us. Initially, people took it as a joke, but as I've risen through the ranks and continued on my journey, they have begun to take my aspirations seriously. This video depicts around 2011. Abi's own pastor prophesied that he would rise to become the prime minister. Undoubtedly, he must have shared with her his mother's prophecy that foretold his destiny as seventh king of Ethiopia. Anyone who had the opportunity to work alongside with me, even for a mere 10 days, knew I would become a prime minister. 20 years ago, during my time in the military, I foretold to a few of them that they would become my bodyguards. They currently work for me as my bodyguard.